Guys, ever since I created my YouTube channel, I've received thousands of comments asking which Android OS is the best and which one to try. Some of you even mention your device specs while asking for recommendations. So, I thought, why not make another detailed video on the top 10 Android OS ranking them from worst to best? And trust me, you don't want to miss the last one because it's my personal favorite and probably yours too. The best part? I've already made separate videos on these OS and you can find their download links on my website as well. So, without wasting any time, let's start with number 10. Let's roll. At number 10, we have the light version of Bliss OS, which is based on Android 6. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, this is a useless OS and might even leave the video right here. But trust me, that's not the case. This lightweight OS runs smoothly even on a 1GB RAM laptop, and I've personally tested it myself. However, there's a problem you can't play Free Fire on it because of an auto-back issue. But for other low-end games, it works just fine. One more downside is that it doesn't come with built-in key mapping, so you'll have to install a separate key mapping software for gaming. That's the reason I placed it at number 10 on this list. At number 9, we have Remix OS which is a far better from the previous one, not just in terms of performance, but also features. Unlike the previous one, Remix OS comes with built-in key mapping, making it perfect for gaming. You can even play Free Fire without any issues. The best part? You don't even need a USB drive to install it. You can dual boot it directly with Windows without any hassle. However, there's one major drawback. It only supports Intel processors, and if you try to install it on AMD or other processors, you'll either get an error during installation or face black screen issues in most apps. That's why I've placed Remix OS at number 9 on this list. At number 8, we have Abstergo OS developed by Team Abstergo and based on Phoenix OS. The biggest advantage of this OS is that it supports all processors, whether Intel, AMD, or others. However, when it comes to performance, it's slightly lower than Remix OS, especially if you have only 2 GB RAM. While it can run even on a PC with 2 GB RAM, but the performance won't be great, especially for games like Free Fire. One important thing to note is that there are multiple variants of this operating system available in the market. To avoid issues, make sure you download only the mainline version, which you can find on my website. At number 7, we have Bliss OS 12, which is perfect for those who are tired of using Android 7 and want a latest Android version on their PC. This OS is based on Android 12, making it one of the most updated Android operating systems available for low-end PCs. And it can run on a 2GB of RAM, but for a smooth experience, 4GB RAM is recommended. At number 6, we have Prime OS Ghost Edition, which is a much better version of the original Prime OS. You guys already know that the original one had a lot of bugs, but in this Ghost Edition, many of those issues have been fixed. Another great feature is that all games come with predefined key mapping, so you don't need to manually set up controls. And about system requirement, this OS include at least 4 GB RAM and a basic graphics adapter to run games properly. Otherwise, you may face black screen issues in many games. If you want to download this OS, the link is available on my website. At number 5, I have placed Thanos OS, which is a well-optimized Android OS specially designed for low-end PC users. This means you can easily run it on a laptop with just 2 GB of RAM. Additionally, the developer has also provided some extra apps that allow you to tweak and customize the OS further. Also, every game you play on this OS comes with perfect key mapping, so you won't have to manually configure controls. I have tested several games on this operating system, and they all work quite well. However, when I tried Free Fire, it initially ran smoothly, but after a while, it started experiencing stuttering, making the game completely unplayable. So, if you want to play Free Fire, you should have at least 4 GB of recommended memory. Next, we have Phoenix OS Dark Matter version 1.1, which is a favorite among most PC users because it comes with multiple services that you can customize during installation. This OS is specifically designed for those who want to play PUBG Mobile on their PC, but to run it smoothly. You must have at least 6 GB of memory to run it properly. I tested games like Free Fire, Traffic Rider, Into the Dead, and Dead Trigger, and they all worked well. As for the recommended system requirements, you need at least 2 GB of RAM, but if you plan to play PUBG, 4 GB is recommended. Now it's time for number 3, and at this spot, 
we have the ROG version of Phoenix OS, and there are multiple variants of this OS available in the market. So whether you have a low-end or high-end PC, you can install the version that suits your system. Talking about its features, this OS comes with several pre-installed apps and offers different launchers, allowing you to customize the interface as per your preference. Additionally, it includes the Octopus Key Mapper, which is a premium key mapping software so that you can play games without facing any problem. As for system requirements, this OS doesn't demand much. You can run it on a system with just 2 GB of RAM and even play Free Fire smoothly. Now at number two, we have Atom OS. And right now, this OS is currently in beta testing, which means the developer hasn't released the final version yet. However, it's still quite well optimized, and I personally tried Free Fire on it, and I got around 25 to 30 FPS, even though my PC only had 2 GB of RAM and no graphics card. Whenever you ask me in the comments section about which Android OS is the best, my answer is always Biometrics OS. And it's not just me, all the creators in my niche recommend this operating system because it is the only operating system that runs smoothly even on the most basic systems. However, many of you make some mistake during installation, which prevents it from working properly on your system. Talking about features, this OS comes with Panda Gamepad Pro with gear lock and you get automatic key mapping for every game you play. I used this OS for almost four months and tested over 50 games. I can confidently say that this is the best OS I've used so far. So guys, these were the top 10 Android OS. Which one did you like the most? And which one worked for you? Be sure to let me know in the comment section. And yes, you can easily download all these OS from my website. If you want to see separate tutorials for each of them, you can click on the link provided in the description or click on the left playlist to watch them.